Okay, in the previous videos, we added a traffic source, affiliate network, offer, and landing page. So that means we're ready to set up a campaign inside the Binome Tracker. To do that, you go to the Campaigns tab, click the Create button. And then you can type a campaign name. I'm going to use a naming convention so that I know like what I'm targeting in the campaign. It'll be easier for me to manage later on down the line. I suggest that you do the same. So let's do like propeller, um, the offer name, awesome offer, with landing pages, mobile, Android, versions, seven, eight, nine, and we'll use CPA bidding model on push, and the bid will be $20. The group is again for organization. You can add a new group here if you want. Select your traffic source. For the bidding model, if your traffic source supports the cost token, then you can just click auto. Otherwise, you'll have to select a different bidding model like this. We're just going to keep it on auto for now because Propeller Ads supports the cost token. If you want to hide the referrer to your affiliate network, you can do that here with a meta refresh, double or single meta refresh. Select your tracking domain and the type of distribution. This will determine how the traffic is distributed. Normal rotation is just random. Smart rotation will send duplicate visitors to a different part. So for example, you have two landing pages. If they saw a landing page one, the second time they enter your campaign URL, they will see landing page two. And you can pick whatever you want, or you can fix them on paths or landing pages. If you did fix on paths and landing pages, if somebody saw landing page one the first time they visited the campaign URL, the second time they would also see landing page one. Generally, I like to do smart rotation, paths, landing pages, and offers. After you save the campaign, after creating it, your campaign URL will be in this box and you can copy this for your traffic source. In the advanced settings, you can you can pick the set the traffic loss, the pay, postback percent. This will be the amount of postbacks that are posted back to your traffic source. The payout percent, this is again a percentage of the total amount earned that will post back to your traffic source. This is for the the e-commerce um, subscription model, which you don't need. Most people won't need this. The postback is if you need an individual postback for this specific campaign, you can add that here. You can append tokens to your URLs like this. This will append them to the landing page URL. So you can do like um, page equals version four, for example, and then this will be appended to every single landing page that we add in the path in a minute. You can append stuff to the campaign URL and the campaign key will also be appended, but you don't need to do any of this advanced settings if you don't uh, have a need for it. Integrations, if you check Facebook, you can integrate with your Facebook uh, ad accounts. Protection, this is for magic checkers, for cloaking. AdSpect is also for cloaking. And binome protection will allow you to kind of exclude uh, VPNs, proxies, bots, and you can blacklist various things based on country or IPs or user agents. And to use that, you would you would check this box and then make a rule here with bot and then any uh, any user that matches this rule which matches any of these uh, boxes you have checked on this left side would come into this path bef instead of going into this uh, default path. We're going to just remove that for now. 
and users. If you want to assign your campaigns to various users, maybe you have a team of media buyers, but most people don't. If you have notes, you can type them here. And then after you've set up the left settings, you can set up the right. We're going to add our landing page and the offer. If you want to uh, make a direct offer with no landing page, you would just select this direct here and then select the offer. So in this campaign, I would be split testing using a landing page for this 11111 offer or direct linking. And after you've finished all that, you can click save. And the URL is here to copy. And this is ready to be put on your traffic source. You can copy the campaign name and the URL and make the campaign on the traffic source. That's it for this video. See you next time.